Building Energiact in German Gebäude Energiegesetz, GEG, has been signed off in late 2020. The target is to reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 30% in the residential and commercial property area. Homeowners have the obligation to renovate and or modernize their properties under certain circumstances. We'll have a closer look at the line items mentioned in the law to guide you on what you need to get done in the upcoming years. Hi, my name is Ajay and in this channel we're going to show you how to buy a house here in Germany. This law has been underlined by the European Union recently as well. Not adhering to this law might lead to a fine of up to 50,000 euros. Apart from saving energy and cost, this is the reason why you should be checking the current modernization level for all rebuilt houses up front, so before you buy them. When the law states that you are obligated to modernize and increase energy efficiency, it is in your best interest. After all, the more energy efficient your house is, the less money you'll be paying on energy bills on a monthly basis. Let's have a closer look at the line items that you might be encountering by reading the law and or listening to the news. Point one, the heating system. This is the most discussed and might just be the most expensive line item by modernizing the house. Any gas or oil heating which is older than 30 years needs to be replaced. There are exceptions for boilers that are operating at low temperature or use condensing technology. German Niedertemperatur and Brennwetter. You have to replace the heating system once it's broken. As long as you can maintain them or get them repaired, that's fine as well. But in this case, you're just postponing the problem and postponing the replacement by a couple of months or years. Point two, insulation of heating and water pipes as long as they are in unheated rooms. Don't worry, you will not need to open up walls to insulate pipes. Only the pipes, for example, which are visible in unheated basements, need to be insulated. Point 3. Insulation of the roof or insulation of the uppermost floor. Even this makes sense. As heat rises up, you don't want the heat to escape from the uppermost ceiling. For the insulation of residential and commercial properties, there are norms to be fulfilled. So if you are looking to do this on your own, please check with an official energy consultant in German Energieberater so that he signs off once you're done with the installation. There are subsidies available for modernizing either the full house, reaching a certain energy efficiency standard, as well as for modernizing just one part of the house. Coming to cost. To exchange your heating system, you should be looking at a budget of 10 to 30,000 euros, depending upon what needs to be done and which heating system you're opting for. For insulating your pipes, please consider 5 to 10 euros per meter of visible pipe. Prices depend on the material you use, as well as the length of pipes you need to insulate. For insulating your uppermost ceiling, there is no pinpointing of cost. The cost may vary here between 30 euros per square meter of an uppermost ceiling, which will go up to 200 euros per square meter if you need to insulate the roof. So there's a huge variation there. There's a lot of need to save energy and you as a future homeowner need to do a couple of checks before you buy your dream home. Please negotiate the price of the property accordingly and save up funds or include them in the financing before applying for a home. There are subsidies available at KFW and or at BAFA which you can pull in to get funded and a good home loan consultant will guide you through that process as well. Even if you already are the owner of a house, can still avail these subsidies. If you've got any question on this topic, please let me know in the comment section below.